hallelujah good evening everyone once again this is apostle kenneth ojirika from house on the rock prayer assembly we know as city of freedom we are located at 189 eastern Maryland and aruka our days of activities on wednesday 7 p.m and also sunday 9 a.m and 11 a.m and also the same evening sunday evening we meet at our next point dominion city in point 14 number 42.14 may road we gather there by 4 p.m and on thursday we gather there by 6 p.m for bible foundation school hallelujah this moment i'm going to invite evangelist marcus to open us in prayer may the lord bless you hallelujah praise and good night everyone thank Amen. you once again Apostle. oh god we thank you for it is indeed an honor and a privilege to hmm. be here yes lord we Can thank you lord, lord for sustaining for keeping, hmm. for strengthening. Hmm. We thank you, God, for every ear that is in tune. Hmm. We thank you, God, for every eye that is looking on Facebook, yes, YouTube, Lord. wherever they are, whatever the devices. We pray, hmm. God, that hmm. your hand will be upon their lives. Yes, Lord. We thank you, God, for this nation, for thank our you, leaders, hmm. for strengthening them, hmm. for letting your wisdom flow through them, oh God, in all decisions that they make. We thank you, God, for this radio station and the job that they are doing, oh merciful God. We pray that you continue to lift them. We pray, God, that you continue to strengthen them, oh God. We pray that you continue to guide them, God. We pray, God, that you will do something new in the life of every man, every woman that is in tune to this program tonight, God. We pray, God, that you will meet them at their point of their needs, oh merciful God. Because you are the supplier of all things. Whatever they desire, according to your riches, in glory, God supply it unto them. Yes, Whether it Lord. be healing, deliverance, mm. Lord, you set someone free tonight. Yes, Lord. And at the end of it all, you will take all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going straight to the word of God, which you know, that is one of the reasons why we are here, to amen. bring the word that is reached to you. The word that will reach out to you. Hallelujah. To each one of you. And we believe God that you will be a blessing to your homes. Amen. Will be a blessing to your heart this evening. Hallelujah. So wherever you are, just tune to 99.5 FM. Pick up your Bible and your pen and your paper because it's time to write. Amen. Amen. Today we are dealing on the topic which I titled, We wait for change instead of working at the change. Amen. We always wait for change instead of working at the change that is available and you know one thing that uh, i started looking at the scripture the book of psalm 119 say and the entrance of the I word give it light entrance on the of the word you don't wait for the entrance amen are you hearing me the mm -hmm. entrance is there already amen what do you do it's just for you to open up mm -hmm. for the word to come amen you don't just say, I'm waiting for divine change Amen. to come. You Hallelujah. are not Job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Job does not have Christ. Amen. Christ is the change that you need. Amen. And the word of God is God. Hallelujah. So wherever his word comes, change comes. Amen. He said, for the entrance of the word, mm -hmm. do what? Give it light. Give it light. So, which means light brings transformation. Amen. Light brings change. Amen. The entrance of the world give it light. Amen. And when he gave light, what does he do? He give it understanding. He give it understanding. Uh -huh. Unto the simple. Unto the simple. Unto that man that they call nobody. Mm -hmm. Unto that man that you never believe he could understand anything. Amen. When the word of God comes in, the same man become a professor Amen. he didn't go to school to. Hallelujah. When the word of God comes in, he gives him what? Understanding. understanding. To understand. Hallelujah. It might not be a man. It might not be a noble man. It mm -hmm. might not be a man of uh, 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 educated man. Mm -hmm. But when this word comes in, he does. Amen. What a common teacher cannot do. Amen. Why? Because the word is quick. Amen. The word is what powerful. Amen. Hallelujah. So it is important that we all submit ourselves to the word. Why do I say the change at hand? The mm -hmm. change 
at hand. We, that is a change that is with us now. And Hallelujah. that change is Jesus. Amen. Now, look at what Jesus Christ said. Because this change must come to somebody's life. Amen. Somebody must live in this change. Amen. Somebody must manifest this change. Hallelujah. Enough of crying. Enough of every day you crying. Sitting down say saying you're waiting for change. Why what you need mm -hmm. to change is even in your room. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you know, you know, today a lot of people want something best. Yeah. But they don't want to do best. Amen. They want something best for themselves, Amen. but they don't want to do something best for themselves. Hallelujah. You may want something best for yourself, mm -hmm. but what are you doing to get something best? True. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us look at the scripture. Matthew chapter 11, we read verse 28 and verse 29. Answer. Because this is the things that have not been taught. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are the things that we have not seen. Amen. You know, and every time we read the scriptures, we run it. We don't read it. True. We run it. But I, I strongly believe tonight, let us read it Amen. and believe God to see what God is going Amen. to do Hallelujah. to somebody's mind. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 and verse 29. And it says, and he said, Come unto me. Come unto me. All ye that are lame. All labor, ye that are labor, labor, uh -huh, and heavy laden. And heavy laden. And I will give unto you rest. And I will give you rest. unto you rest. rest. So if there is any man that looking for rest, mm -hmm. Jesus say he will give you rest. Hallelujah. If there is any man that have been restlessly, mm -hmm. if there have been any man that be under heavy laden, yeah. if there have been any man that is under heavy yoke, yeah. Jesus Christ said, I am the one Hallelujah. to give the rest. Amen. Read the next verse. 29. 29. Take my yoke upon you. He said, take my yoke upon you. And learn of me. And what? So I want to deal on the word learn. Amen. Learn. Learn of me. Learn of me. Learn of me. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't teach people about English. You Amen. teach people English. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't teach people about mathematics. Hallelujah. Are you because this is where we fail and we're manipulating and mamagaying people. Mm -hmm. Say so we are teaching them about Christ. You don't teach people about Christ. You teach people Christ. Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ said, learn, learn. So it is something you have to learn very Amen. carefully. It is something you have to learn of his lifestyle. Amen. It is something you have to learn the way he do things, Amen. the way he move things, yes. the way he, he, he face challenges. Yes. So we are coming. He said, learn of mm -hmm. me, learn of me, mm -hmm. learn of me. Amen. Why do you go to school? You go to school to learn. That when you come out, you become a, a, you become a product of mm -hmm. what you learn. Amen. So that is the reason why you must be taught Hallelujah. Christ. Because when you are being taught Christ, you come out as a product of Christ. Amen. Now we come in. I want you to read the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, I want you to read verse 17 to 24. Because we might take just a kind of a long reading now. So before we start preaching. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, seventeen to twenty-four. Yeah, 17 to 24, right. This I say therefore. This I say therefore. And testify in the Lord. And testify in the Lord. That ye henceforth. That you henceforth. Walk not as other Gentiles. Walk not as other Gentiles. I want you to look at him. Two people in this scripture. Two people. Yeah. You are a Gentiles. I want you to know, you are a Gentile, but he said, do not walk like other Gentiles. Mm -hmm. So, which means we have two Christians here. <laughs> we have two types of Christians here. There are Christians that walk like unbelievers. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, do not walk like other Gentiles. Amen. Gentiles. We are going to prove all those things. Continue, sir. <laughs> Walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. In the vanity of their mind. Uh -huh. 18. Uh -huh. Having their understanding darkened. Having their own under their understanding. Darkened. They don't they don't have the understanding of Christ. At all. Are you hearing me? What they have is their own understanding, mm -hmm. not the understanding of Christ. Amen. Having their own, having understanding darkened. darkened. Uh -huh. 
being alienated from the life being of God. Being alienated from the life of God. Uh -huh. Through their ignorance. Through the what? The their ignorance. 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 Ignorance is worse than cancer. Ignorance is worse than COVID-19. Ignorance have killed a lot of people. Hallelujah. Walking in their ignorance. In their ignorance. Yeah. Because their mind is darkened. Mm -hmm. They walk in their own understanding. Amen. They walk in their own way. Of England. Like today, you see people, um, I, I, I walk in, I, I am serving God. I am walking the way. Uh, if it is not what Jesus said, you are walking in vain. Amen. Time has come, we have to come practically uh -huh. and declare the word of God. It doesn't matter who it will offend. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus did not please everybody. At all. Amen. That is the reason why Jesus must be taught. Amen. Hallelujah. So continue in that scripture. Uh -huh. The own ignorance that is in them. The own ignorance that is in them. Uh -huh. Because of the blindness of their heart. Because of the blindness of their heart. So which means ignorance come because of the blindness, blindness of, their of their heart. heart. Uh -huh. Continue. Mm -hmm. Who being past. Who being past. Feeling have given themselves over uh -huh. unto lusciousness uh -huh. to work all uncleanness with greediness. Twenty. Uh -huh. But you have not so learned Christ. You have not so learned Christ. Christ. Underline that scripture. Amen. You have not so. So, which means this is not what I taught so, you. Amen. This is not the way you know Christ. So there is a way. To learn Christ. Amen. You don't teach people. You don't. Uh, um, maybe you teach people Christ. Mm -hmm. People learn Christ. Mm -hmm. You They must learn who Christ is. Amen. This is not how you learn Christ. Amen. This is not the way you learn Christ. At so all. the way you are behaving now is not the yes. way you are supposed to behave. Amen. Continue. Uh -huh. 21. Mm -hmm. If so be. If so be. That you have heard him. That you have heard him. Look at. We are looking at. Mm -hmm. We are looking at. Pick up three things here. Mm -hmm. You have learned Christ. Mm -hmm. You have heard mm -hmm. him. Uh -huh. And have been taught by him. And have been taught by him. So three things is what mm -hmm. we are looking at in this scripture today you have learned mm -hmm. of him you have mm -hmm. he had him and you have been taught, taught him. of him look at we're talking about one person mm -hmm. and everything here is of him Amen. and him Amen. and him Amen. and him alone Hallelujah. hear of him thought Amen. of him and learn Amen. of him <laughs> continue as the truth is in jesus as the truth is in who you learn Amen. the truth is in who you have been taught Amen. of the truth is in who you have been had. Uh -huh. 22. Continue. That you put off. That you put off. Concerning the former concerning conversation. Concerning the former conversation. The old man. The old man. Which is corrupted. Which, which is corrupt. Which is corrupt. According to the deceitful loss. Uh -huh. 23. Uh -huh. And be renewed. And be renewed. In the spirit of your mind. In the spirit of your mind. Uh -huh. And that you put on. That the you new man. put on the new man. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Which after God. Which this new man. This new man. Which you will be taught of him. Mm -hmm. This new man. You will learn yeah. of him. Uh -huh. This new man that you hear of him. Amen. I hear him. He is after, after God. God. He Hallelujah. is created in the righteousness of God. Amen. He is God righteousness. Amen. When you hear him, you hear righteousness. When you hear him, you hear holiness. Amen. When you learn him, you behave holy. Amen. When you learn him, you behave righteously. Yes. So we try to establish something. So we're looking at here that the change life begins by coming to know Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The change life is begins by coming to know who jesus and somebody will say coming to know jesus if you never do you know one thing you can be hearing of a man mm -hmm. and if you don't know that man you may judge the man by what people say amen and you begin to see that the, a lot of information that has been given to us about Christ, when you come in in Christ, you see a different thing yeah. from what people Hallelujah. have been taught. 
When you come to learn him, you come to know him, you see different things from what people say. Amen. Amen. You, when you come to learn his understanding, hallelujah, you have been taught in the understanding of Christ. You begin to see things differently, not the same way you have been taught before. So it is important that we get some things established. Now, he said the change life begins by coming to know Christ. Now, coming to know Christ, that is where the spirit of your mind is being changed. Amen. That is when the spirit of your mind is being renewed. Now, now do you notice? I want you to read the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. 2 Corinthians 3, 18. And, it says, and he says, But we with all, but we all with open faces. But we all with open face. Beholding as in a glass. Beholding as in a glass. The glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. Are changed. We do what? We do what? We do. So put it means the change you are waiting for is there waiting for you. Amen. Hallelujah. What is the glass? The glass is the word of God. Amen. The mirror is the word of God Amen. that shows you the way you look. Yes. Shows you who you are. Amen. Shows you how you are. Amen. So when you keep on looking on the word of God, the word of God you look into is what you change Amen. to become. Hallelujah. So it is very important we get this established. Hallelujah. Remember why? That is the reason why they tell parents, be careful on the movies that your children watch. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why they say, do not put a cartoon of uh, all this violent cartoon mm -hmm. for children. to Because when a child keeps on watching a violent cartoon that you know, shoot gun or use obscene yeah. language, before you know what happened, the child starts yeah. speaking what? Obscene language. The yeah. child starts misbehaving because mm -hmm. of what he is seeing. Yeah. So when you begin to look at the word of God, what do you do? You begin to change. So what you do what Amen. you do because do you know what I'm because as you are looking what is being communicating is the spirit Amen. and that is the same thing when you are looking at the things of this world what happened you are changing mm -hmm. to what you see you I find that today that. a lot of people are looking more on the television focusing more on the news mm -hmm. you see them they behaving so yeah. fearful fearful why mm -hmm. because that is the only thing they want to see Amen. they never want to see the word of God in the mirror. Amen. So it is important. Galatians chapter 4. Galatians chapter 4, we read verse 8 and 9. Uh -huh. Galatians chapter 4, we and read 8 and 9. And, says, and he said, How be it? How be it? Then, then, when you know not God, when you know not God, you did serve unto you them. You did Why is he telling them this? Mm -hmm. He wasn't talking to unbelievers. He was talking to people that know God. Yeah. Why so be so that when you don't know God, mm -hmm. uh -huh, you did serve unto them, you did serve unto them, which by nature are not God, which by nature they are not God, but you serve On, them. Yes. Uh -huh. But now, but now, after that ye, after that you have known God, have known God, or rather, or rather, of God, unknown of God, how. Turn ye. How do you turn again to the weak and beggarly? Again to the weak mm -hmm. one and one beggarly elements. elements. Uh -huh. Where unto? Where unto? Desire again to be in bondage. You desire again to be in, in bondage. bondage. So, which means when you are being taught of Christ, follow me. When you are born again, you are born again in Christ. You mm -hmm. was not born again in Moses. At all. When you are born again, you were not born again in any prophet. At all. Because a lot of people will cuss me up now because they will not like this. Amen. When you are born again, you are not born again in any creature. At all. Except Christ. And if you are born again in Christ, Christ must be Thought Amen. without mixing the message. Amen. When you are born again, a Bible says, if any man is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. All things are what passed away. Now, do you know one thing? Okay, somebody will say, okay, what of if I'm born again? So, uh, does it mean you not talk about prosperity? Have you have have you not heard that is in Christ? 
Everything is inside Christ. Amen. Christ is what they call self-contained. He carries everything. Yeah. He is the corporate headquarter. Amen. Let's use that word. He is the word, the corporate headquarter. Yeah. Amen. So you begin to look at this, that after you have been born again, you not only be, you know Christ. Mm -hmm. Christ know you. Yeah. How come will you soup so low? Mm -hmm. How come will you go back so low? Bringing yourself a man to kill fire on your head and mm -hmm. say you're doing deliverance. Blood. Or sprinkling blood. Uh, After yeah, the yeah, blood yeah. of Jesus has been sprinkling on your head. Yeah, Did you yeah. know something? This is one of the f deception of a lot. now, And I'm going to say this. It is enough of we coming to the radio and preach Christ to people. Amen. But when people now come for counseling, we'll be behaving like we'll be a man. Amen. Enough of that. Hallelujah. Go ahead, preach. Call my number. Call my number. Call for prayer. When they call for prayer, you demand the money. Mm -hmm. That is very, very, very wrong. Mm -hmm. It is very, 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 very Amen. wrong. So yeah. we have to come to the point where we say it as it is. Amen. How come have you choose to go back to bondage? Amen. So now, what are we looking at right now? What we are looking at right now is this. Number one, remember what I said. I used, the, I used something in that book of uh, Ephesians chapter 4. I said, learn of Christ. Mm -hmm. Number two, Who? heard of him. Mm -hmm. and, of him. And number three, do what? Thought. Thought of him. So it is important we all get this. Mm -hmm. So a changed life begins when you learn mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. You learn Amen. You have to learn. Amen. You have to carefully study Christ. Amen. Study his character. Study his understanding. Amen. Study the way he thinks. Yes. So when you learn Christ. Now look at what Paul said. Paul did not say you did not learn about Christ. So Talk. there are people learning about Christ. You don't learn about Christ. You learn Christ. Amen. Because you don't teach people about English. Mm -hmm. You, listen, let me tell you something. People, I don't know. We have to come. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Because we send our children to go and learn medicine. Mm -hmm. We don't send them to go and learn about medicine. But when we come to church, we want somebody to teach us to learn about Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. You learn Christ. You learn in Him. Amen. So the person that want, we're coming, we're talking about learning him, put Jesus Christ, say, learn of me. Hallelujah. So Paul did not tell them, he said, you did not learn about Christ. What he said? He said, but rather, you did not learn Christ in this way. You didn't learn him in this way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is very important we know that Christ is to be learned. Amen. Christ is to be Study. Amen. You need to study him. Hallelujah. You need to study his character. Yes. He said, learn of me. Mm -hmm. Why do we go to school? We go to school to learn. Mm -hmm. Why do we sometimes, we go close to people, mentors. Hallelujah. We go to a mentor. To, what do you do? To learn how he does that. People doesn't teach you about computer. You learn computer. Amen. Amen. If you never learn computer, you're not getting it. Why? Why? Because... They are teaching you everything inside it, which means it's computer you are learning. Amen. So it is very important we get it established. Why do I say that? John chapter 17 verse 3 says what? John 17 verse 3 says what? And this is the life eternal. And this is the life eternal. Uh -huh. That they might know. That, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Jesus make it plain. He said, mm -hmm. this is what? Life. life eternal. Eternal. Are you looking for life eternal? Look at him here. Amen. That they might do what? No, they this. might no know him. him. Yeah. Know him. So Christ is to know. Amen. Stop experiencing Christ. Hallelujah. Know Christ. Amen. Christ is to know because when you stop Study a man, you know the man. Amen. When you learn of him, you know him. Hallelujah. Why? So, which means Christ is to know. He said, This is life internal. Mm -hmm. That they may do what? No, no deed. No that yeah. they will know. They will know. So, it is important we know 
and Amen. stuff. Because sometimes, did you know that we, we end up in our experiences? We are not ready to learn. Amen. We end up in experience while we are not ready to Amen. learn. Hallelujah. So Christ is to be learned. Amen. Christ is to be studied. Amen. Christ is to be known. Amen. He said that they may do what no. You, they Amen. may know you as what well, as the only true, true the God. only true living God. God. So we must do what learn who Hallelujah. Christ is. Learn Christ. Number two, we look at the change of life begins when you hear Him. Amen. You must hear Him. Uh -huh. When you read the book of John, chapter eight, we read from verse forty-three to forty-seven, and He says, Why? John. Uh -huh. Why do you not understand? Why do you not understand my speech? My speech. Even because you cannot hear my because word. Because you cannot hear my word. And uh, listen, you, did you know how sometimes we hear the word of God, we're not hearing it? At all. Because whatever you cannot understand, you are not hearing. Amen. There is a spirit in you that must hear the spirit that is coming. Yes. Whatever Hallelujah. that is not inside of you can never receive what is coming from outside. So why are you not hearing me? Continue in that scripture, sir. 44. You are of your father, the devil. You are of your father. You are of your father, mm -hmm. the devil. Uh -huh. And the lust of your father you will do. And the lust of your father you will do. Uh -huh. For he was a murderer from the he beginning. He was a murderer from the beginning. And abode not in the truth. He never lived in the truth. Uh -huh. Because there is no truth in because him. Because there is no truth in him. Uh -huh. When he speaketh. When he speaketh. A lie he speaketh. Lie he speaketh. Uh -huh. Of his own. Of his own. For he is a liar. For he is a liar. And the father of it. And the father of it. Uh -huh. And because I tell you the truth. And because I tell you the truth. You believe me not. You believe me not. Which of you. Uh huh. Conceived me of convicted me of sin. Who, which of you convicted me yes. of sin? Uh -huh. And if I say the truth, and if I say the truth, why do ye uh -huh. not believe me? Why don't you believe me? Forty-seven. Uh -huh. He that is of God. He that is of God. Hear it, God. Hear it, God. God's listen, word. listen, listen. Let us live story now. Amen. I mean, there is no need. Oh, it is time we practically truth mm -hmm. being exposed. He that is of God, hear, hear it, God's it him. Hear it, God. When you see people trying to argue the word of God, argue the word of God, you will know who they are. Amen. You will know who they are of. Any Hallelujah. man that is of God, do what? Hear it, God. Hear it, God's word. Uh -huh. Not be, not because hear it, God's hear it, God's word. Ye therefore uh -huh. hear them not, because you are not of God. You don't you hear them not because, because you, you are, are not of God. Of God. Hallelujah. You are not of God. So what you hear is what makes you. Mm -hmm. So he said, because you don't hear this, you are not of me. Mm -hmm. Understand? So there is no need of every time we want to argue the word. Argue. You don't argue the word of God. Hallelujah. The word of God is true light mm -hmm. that shineth. And Bible says, and when it shineth, darkness comprehended it not. So it is very important that we know. What did the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17 say? Romans 10 17. Uh -huh. So then faith cometh by hearing. So then faith cometh by hearing. Uh -huh. And hearing by the word and of God. hearing by the word of, of God. God. So which means you must hear. You must hear. You must hear about him to know him. Amen. You must hear about him to know him. Amen. It is very important that we hear about Christ to know who Christ is. Number Hallelujah. three, we look at the change brings, the change brings, he said, the change life brings when you are taught in Christ. Amen. The change life comes when you are being taught inside Christ, Amen. if you are not taught in Christ, change never come. Hallelujah. Because what a lot of things we call change today is not really change. At all. If Christ has not come in the life of a man, that is no change. I want you to look at this scripture. Philippians chapter 3. We read from verse 1 to 3. Uh -huh. 
Say, finally, my brethren. Finally, my brethren. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you. To write the same thing to you. To me, indeed, it is not grievous. Uh -huh. But for you, it is safe. Uh -huh. Beware of dogs. Beware of what? Dogs. Dogs. Beware of what? Dogs. Have you ever go to somebody's house? As before you approach the gate, what you see is what? Beware of what? Dogs. Beware of what? Dogs. Listen, Hallelujah. you go to a very big compound. Mm -hmm. Even where there is no dog inside, mm -hmm. in the sign box, in the gate, they say beware of dog. Yeah. That is what Paul is telling you. Now, the question is this. Who? Well, as Bible use the word dog, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think it's an insultive word. Mm -mm. What Bible call dog is Bible say any man that vomits thin mm -hmm. and go back, back. to eat. Yeah. <laughs> there is no how you can say that Jesus have made you free and tomorrow you going back to go and break Amen. generational curse. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. So what you have vomited out is what you going to eat back. Amen. It's a beware of dogs. Uh -huh. To beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of evil workers. Uh -huh. Beware of the, their conscience. Beware of the word their conscience. Their conscience. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For we are the circumcision. We are. For we are the circumcision. circumcision. Uh -huh. Which worship God Which in the spirit. Which worship God in the, the spirit. spirit. I want you to get this. We are the circumcision that do what? Worship, worship God. God we are. We are. In the spirit. spirit. That is where we worship God. We worship God. We are in, in the spirit. spirit. Uh -huh. And rejoice in Christ Jesus. And rejoice in Christ Jesus. And have no confidence in the flesh. And we have no confidence. In we the flesh. So when you see a man bragging, I can keep this. I can keep this. Mm. I can keep this. That man have confidence, confidence in flesh. In flesh. In I, I can keep this. I can keep mm. this. Mm. I can keep this. I can keep this. That man yeah. have what? Confidence. We are in, in flesh. the flesh. Now, when you read the book of John chapter 4, we read 21 to 24. Look at what what Jesus said to this woman, John chapter 4, 21 to 24. Look Jesus at what, and Jesus said unto her, eh? woman, woman, believe me, believe me, the hour cometh, the hour cometh, when you shall neither in this mountain, when you shall neither in this mountain, nor ye at Jerusalem, or in Jerusalem, worship the Father, worship the Father, hold on a minute, have you forgotten that it was in Jerusalem, they worship the Father, mm -hmm. it was in the mountain, mm -hmm. on this mountain, maybe at this altar, they worship the Father, mm -hmm. but Jesus telling the woman, woman, listen very carefully, the hour, hour have come. Amen. Something have changed. Amen. Some dispensation Amen. have taken place. Hallelujah. A testament have come. Amen. When in this mountain Hallelujah. you can worship God. Amen. When in this temple you can even Amen. in Jerusalem. It's not, why? But the place we are to worship Amen. God is what continue. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You worship you not what we know what we know. That we worship uh -huh. for salvation is of the Jews. We worship what we know. You mm -hmm. worship not what we to know. know. Uh -huh. For salvation, salvation is, is what of the Jews. It's of the Jews. Uh -huh. But the hour cometh. But the hour cometh. And now is now is when the true worshiper. And now is when the true worshiper uh -huh. shall worship the Father. In shall spirit. worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. And in truth, not when the true worshippers worship God in flesh. Amen. In what they can do. Can I tell you something? No man going to heaven because of their righteousness. At all. No man going to heaven because of the law you have kept. Amen. We go to heaven because of what Jesus has done. God, we go to heaven because of what Christ has done. Amen. No man can enter heaven because of your deed. Hallelujah. At all. No man. No man. Amen. No man. No man. Hallelujah. At all. Hallelujah. Can you read verse 24? 
God is a spirit. God is a spirit. And they that worship him. And they that worship him. Must worship him in spirit and in truth. In spirit. And that is the reason why he gave you a spirit to worship him in mm -hmm. the spirit. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why you have the Holy Spirit Amen. to worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why when you receive him, what you receive was the spirit. Amen. To communicate with the spirit. Hallelujah. We don't worship God by flesh. We don't worship God because we have to put something and be looking at the statue and they calling it God. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is very important. Now, when you read the book of Acts chapter 17, verse 11, Acts 17, verse 11, look okay. at what he said. Uh -huh. These were more noble. These were more noble. Than those that are in Thessalonia. Than them that are in Thessalonia. And that they receive the word. They receive the word. With all readiness. With all readiness. Of mind. Of mind. And search the scripture daily. And they go home to search the scripture daily. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Whether those things were so. Whether those things we are so. Uh -huh. 12. No, no, no. No, no, it's okay. Because enough. If you find out today, see that. We come to church. After coming to church, we don't go back home to revisit. Amen. We don't go back to restudy, to search the scripture, scripture. to know whether is this really truth. Amen. We have come, we are now the generation, hallelujah, the generation that our emotions supersede the word of God. Amen. Our feelings now, we move by our feelings. Hallelujah. We are being led by our emotion, mm -hmm. by our feelings mm -hmm. more than the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we, we, we are now because it's how we feel. It is not how you feel. Amen. It is in the truth. True. It is in the truth. He says, hallelujah, it is in the truth. Amen. Now, look at these people. When they go to church, mm -hmm. after you preach, you know what they will do? They will write everything you say. Yeah. They will pick up their pen, write off the scriptures. And when they reach home, they will start going it from chapter to chapter, mm -hmm. from verses to verses. What are they going? They are trying to know. Let me hear. This man came. Mm -hmm. oh, let's see what he says is the truth. True. Amen. That is a man you cannot deceive. Amen. That is a man you cannot mess up his Hallelujah. mind. Because whatever you say, if he can't back it up, it, you, you will still have a problem. Amen. There is still a problem. Hallelujah. Anything you say, and, and Moses, he said, show me where Moses, he said it. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, no, hello. And it was written. Where? Let me see. Because True. anything can be written. Yeah. Even Hallelujah. the thief was written. Yeah. Lie was written. So let me know where it is. When people go home, they can be able to do what? To go back to the scripture and they find for themselves. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. First Thessalonians chapter 2, and verse 13. Said, and he said, For this cause, for this cause, also thank we God. Also thank we God. Without ceasing. Without ceasing. Because, because when you receive the word of God, when you receive the word of God, which you heard of us, which you heard of us, you received it not as the word of men. You receive it not as the word of men, uh -huh. but, but as it is in truth. But as it is in truth, the word of God. Uh -huh. Which effectually work it also the, the in you. The word of God, which is effectually work it all, also in also you, in you that, uh, believe. that believe. So when you come, you hear the word of God. You don't hear, it's not man. Amen. If it is written, it's not a man. True. It is word that is written. Amen. If it is written, it's the truth. That Hallelujah. is the word. Hallelujah. So we cease not to pray for you. We pray for you. Why mm. do we pray for you? Because when we come close to you, we, we see how you Amen. receive the word of Hallelujah. God. You receive that word. Amen. Not after receiving, you go back and mess it up. Amen. You receive and you keep that word. Amen. You know why? Because we are going to pray. Remember, tomorrow is um, we entering into um, tomorrow is the first of um, December, so we are going to pray. I'm just trying to rush so now. Can pray at least for ten minutes for everybody. Now go to the book of Second Peter, Second Peter chapter three. We're reading verse sixteen to eighteen. Second Peter chapter 3, we're reading verse 16 to 
to 18. Uh -huh. Now, look at this. This is where God is going to help us now. Uh -huh. As also in his epistles. As also in his epistles. Speaking in them of these things. Speaking in them of these things. In which are some things heard. In to, which of something heard to be understood, to be understood, uh -huh. which they that are unlearned, which they that are unlearned and unstable, and on look at the two people, look at the two people. Mm -hmm. This is the two people that destroy themselves with the, with the same word of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Again, <laughs> look at two set of people that do what. Destroy themselves yes. with the same word of God mm -hmm. alone and unstable. And unstable. Mm -hmm. Remember, unstable person can never receive anything from God. That is number one. Unlearned person is an ignorant man. Amen. Look at the two set of people that do what? That continue in that scripture. You will see what he said here. Yes, huh? As they do also uh -huh. the other scriptures. Unto their own look, destruction. Look at it. Look at these two set of people. They do what? They all the scriptures unto their own word. Destruction. Mm -hmm. They interpret they scriptures. They interpret scriptures after their own word. Destruction. Amen. They interpret it. Ah, this is the way I yeah. understand. No. Uh, the, if it's not the way Christ say it. If it is not what Christ meant. Are you hearing me? It's leading you to destruction. Amen. The un <laughs> he called them the unlearned mm -hmm. people and the what the unstable, unstable people that when they see yellow sea, they go to yellow sea. Mm -hmm. When they see blue sea, they go to blue sea. Hallelujah. When they see red sea, they go to red sea. Amen. Are you hearing me? It's unstable person. People that today they say Jesus, I I know tomorrow. It's another different thing. Unstable person. And another thing is the people unlearn. People that does not want to learn. Amen. People that think what they know is enough. Hallelujah. People that think is the Sabbath or whatever they keeping mm -hmm. is what giving them life. Amen. People that are not ready for revealed word. Amen. People that are not ready for the word that have been revealed. Hallelujah. People that are not ready to what the Holy Ghost will reveal about Christ. Amen. What they do? They quote all this scripture mm -hmm. for their own destruction. They quote all this scripture for their own, to mess up themselves. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you look at this, you begin to see that God is calling all into a dimension where we, we know him. Amen. Into a dimension where we will uh, come and learn of who Christ is. Amen. Into a dimension where we will, men will be taught of him. Amen. Because you cannot be thinking about him. It is him you thought of. Amen. Amen. Continue in that scripture. If Verse what now? Verse 17, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh -huh. 17. Ye therefore, you therefore, beloved, beloved, seeing you know these things, seeing you know these things, before, before, beware, beware, lest you also Beware, beware. You know all these things before. You mm -hmm. know them before. Beware, mm -hmm. beware. Uh -huh. Lest also you be led away. Be lest you be what? Led, led away. away. Beware. Because if you don't listen, we are in the days that we can be easily led away. Mm -hmm. We are in the season that we can be easily led away. Mm -hmm. Why? Because if you find out right now, the our feet feelings and our emotions hallelujah we want to get some things whether it is being back up in the scripture amen. we want it whether bible back it up we, whether it is back up in the scripture or not as far as it sounds good but i want to let you know it's not everything that starts with g start on god amen. it's not everything that is good that is god amen. it might sound good but it is not god Hallelujah. It might suit for your emotion, but yes. it is not suit to your soul. Hallelujah. <laughs> Are you hearing me? It might suit to your feelings, but not to your spirit. Yeah. 
It might suit your feelings, but not the Spirit of God. Amen. It might suit your spirit, but that is not for you. Amen. Hallelujah. So he said, you have known all these things before. Be, before. be careful mm -hmm. so that you be not be what? Led be away. led away. Be led away. Mm -hmm. Be led away. I want us to pray a prayer with them. We are going to pray tonight. And ask the Lord, Lord, every spirit that has been leading people away from the truth, Amen. today we command you, spirit, hallelujah, every spirit that has been leading people away from the truth, we cast you out of this land. Amen. We cast you out of their Amen. life. We cast you yes. out of their life. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes, Father, God, every, every spirit, spirit every spirit that has been leading people you. away from the truth, God, we, we stand by the power in the name of Jesus we command that spirit. We spare that spirit out of this land. We command that spirit to be destroyed. We command you right now in the name of Jesus, leave this land. Leave this land. We send you back where you come from. In the name of Jesus, you spirit that have been leading people away from the truth. You spirit of deception. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke you out of this land. We rebuke you out of this land. We rebuke you yes, out Lord. of men and women in yes. the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is a spirit that makes people unstable. Amen. It is a spirit that makes people, they don't know their real identity yes. again. They Hallelujah. have become identity crisis. Amen. Hallelujah. Their face, they, they can't even recognize their face in the mirror anymore. Hallelujah. We are going to pray against that spirit again. Amen. Spirit leading people away from truth. Yes, spirit Lord. leading people away from truth. Hallelujah. Bible say in the perilous time. Hallelujah. And we are in that time now. Amen. When you find out right now, when men love themselves more than lovers of God. Hallelujah. When men is unthankful, boastful, Amen. people doing all, we are going to pray. Father, we command the spirit of age. We command that spirit to disappear out Amen. of this land. Lord, we rebuke that yes, spirit Lord. in the name of the oh, Father. Jesus. We rebuke Hallelujah. that spirit in the name of the Son. We yes, rebuke Lord. that spirit in the name of the Holy Spirit. You, Do you know Jesus. something? Bible said that un unthankful spirit. Amen. Unthankful. If you find that now, people are no more grateful. Amen. Why? Because they are they, they looking at their need more than what they have. Amen. Their need have consumed them that they cannot be able to thank God Amen. in what God has done for Correct. them. Amen. It's all about need, mm -hmm. need, Amen. need, 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 need. You know, sometimes I tell people, okay, December coming just now. Amen. You see people rush to go and buy things on credit you don't need. Amen. Buy things on credit you don't even need because your neighbor have it does not mean you needed it. Amen. Because your neighbor have the money to buy it. True. Remember, instrumental coming, you'll be paying, you know, every Amen. month. You are, if you don't pay, court will come and possess your goods. Amen. True. And what you pay, God, the one you have. So we have to be what be thankful in what we have. Amen. Why? Because it is the same spirit that is leading people away from Hallelujah. the truth. The truth makes you to walk, to be contented with what Amen. you have. But today, we find out the same place, we find out it's because of their greediness. Amen. The greediness is now leading them away. We are going to rebuke every spirit of greediness yes, in Lord. this land. Hallelujah. Father, you spirit of greediness, in the Amen. name of Jesus, Jesus, we bind you. Yes, bind you in yes. the name of Jesus. Open your mouth yes, and begin to Lord. pray. You every spirit, spirit of greediness, in the ah, name of Jesus, Jesus, we rebuke you, you in the name of in Jesus. Name we of Jesus. command you I right now to God. dry we up. We Ever you come from, the Lord rebuke you. I said, The Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And another thing again, when you read the Bible, the Bible says, It said, For these people, these people you are seeing, they call good evil, mm -hmm. they call bitter sweet. Mm -hmm. Everything they change in it. Are you not seeing? Because of money now, people do all kind of things. Mm -hmm. Because of money, people can turn against somebody. Because of jealousy, people turn against. Them. Because of one thing, people do this. Because we are in the 
time. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray that spirit that leads people away from the truth. We are going to pray that the power yes, of God Lord. destroy the spirit. Amen. That spirit that lead people away from the yes, truth. Lord. Dry up in this land. In we command you to be dried up. Yes, that spirit will cast you out of Trinidad and Tobago. We cast you out of Trinidad and Tobago. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of seduction yes, that have entered every man, yes, spirit of loss that have entered any man, yes. any Christian, yes. anybody, the in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we yes. command that spirit to live now. You spirit of loss, we Hallelujah. rebuke you. You spirit of greediness, we rebuke yes, you. Spirit Lord. of bribe, we rebuke yes. you. In the name of Jesus, yes. unthankful spirit, we rebuke you. Yes, In Lord. the name of Jesus, Thank jealousy, you. we rebuke you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, today yes, we come against such spirit. Amen. In the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Bible say, let us be contented with Amen. what we have. Amen. We are going to pray, Lord, give us the grace to be what? Contented, contented. with what we have. Hallelujah. With what we have. Amen. The problem today, people are no more contented with what Amen. they have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray as the Lord, give us the grace to be what? To contented be contented with what we have. What we have. Lord, give men and women the grace, grace to be contented with what, what they have. Yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. In the name yes. of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father Lord, give us the grace, the ability, oh God, to be contented, oh God, with what we have. With what we have, Lord, give men and women, oh God, ah, the grace to be contented of what they have, of what they have. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, we ask, oh God, for the spirit of contentment. In the name of Jesus, upon every believer, upon every child of God, upon every man, upon every woman, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let the spirit of contentment rest upon the nation, in the name of Jesus, rest upon every leader, in the name of Jesus, thank you Lord, did you know something, when you are not contented, you can take bribe, it is lack of contentment makes men to take bribe, why? Because you are not contented with Amen. what you have. We are going to pray, Lord, lay that grace to be contented, Amen. rest upon us. Yes, Lord. Power to be contented, Hallelujah. rest upon our life. Yes. Open Amen. your mouth Amen. and begin Jesus. to pray. My rest God and my Father, hey, Libro Suta Praleke Keta, Intalaku to Robos, Intaleha, Zimbre de Gede Gede, Ma in Calaba, Supra de Gea, Ma in Dalalegeha, Zendulia Galeha. Lega Bralegeha, Zunta Lekayaha, Manin Doloroha, Bindele de Rusutele Keprekeka, Le Italian Dalagaban Zondoroha, Ma in Corobo Shakalaba, in Dalegebo. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Can you read verse 18 of that scripture? Let's close with that verse 18. Uh -huh. But grow in grace. Ah, but grow in grace. We are going to pray, Lord. We pray for the grace to grow Amen. in grace. My God, Hallelujah. Father, the grace to grow, grow in grace rests upon Amen. the church. Ah, Hallelujah. the grace, the capacity, power to Amen. grow in grace rest upon the men of God, rest upon the church, yes. rest in upon this Jesus. nation yes. in the in name of Jesus. Jesus. I will grow in grace. Hallelujah. This nation will grow in grace. Yes, the God. church will grow in yes, grace God. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the month of December, Amen. we shall Amen. grow in grace. In grace. I will in grow in grace. Jesus. This nation Amen. will grow in grace in the in name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, pray in for this, this month, oh God, this month of my December coming, I shall grow in grace. My season of grace, every man will grow in grace. This nation will grow in grace. The church will grow in grace. Pastors will grow in grace. Men and women of God shall grow in grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're going to pray and ask the Lord, Father, every spirit of death, every spirit of accident, in this month of December, 
Lord, in the name of Jesus, we terminate the assignment of the enemy. Every assignment of the enemy. Because this is the season. Everybody wants to make it overnight. Lord, we terminate every assignment of the enemy. Assignment of death. Assignment of accident. Lord, we begin to decree every demonic shocking point. Lord, we scatter it with the blood of Jesus. My God and my Father, all the points where accident normally happen on the highway. My God and my Father, we decree and we declare, we release the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus upon the nation right now in the name of Jesus. From Bible says, from henceforth, let no man trouble me, for in my body we bear the mark of Jesus. From today we decree and we declare the mark of Jesus upon every man, mark of Jesus upon every pastor. Mark of Jesus upon every believer. Mark of Jesus upon this nation. Mark of Jesus upon the leaders. In the name of Jesus, we release the mark of Jesus. We release the mark of Jesus upon the pastors, upon the ministers, upon every believer. In the name of Jesus, this season the Lord will keep you. This season the Lord will protect you. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare this season. Ah, no weapon that form against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. And we decree and we declare, this is a season. The Lord will wipe away your shame. Amen. The Lord will dry up your tears. Yes. Every plans of the enemy over your life shall not come to pass. The Lord shall be your God. Amen. The Lord will save you. Amen. The Lord will protect you. Amen. The Lord will fight for you. Hallelujah. We release the host of heaven to intervene. In the fears of every man, Amen. in the fears of men and women, Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus, we declare today that you will grow in grace. In the name of the Father, you will grow in grace. In the name of the Son, you will grow in grace. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen Hallelujah. and amen. Once again, this Apostle Kenneth Ojirika from House on the Rope Assembly, we are known as City of Freedom. If you are there and you listen to us every Monday, please, if you want to give us a call, you can give us a call on 334-0032 or 349-4423. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for listening to us as I will call Evangelist Marcos to close us in prayer. Father, we thank you once again. Yes, Father, Lord. Lord yes, Lord. Hmm. God, we thank you that your word went forth with power. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for lives that have been transformed. We thank you, Lord, for lives that have been healed and delivered mm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God, we pray for every man, every woman that yes, is in tune to this program. God, that this week hmm. as they go forth, they will go forth in your grace. Amen. God, hide them from every evil ah, man in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, God, Lord. God, protect them from every evil arrow in oh. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every plan of the enemy hmm. over their life. Life, God, it shall not come to pass. We Amen. God for their families, yes, the loved Lord. ones that you cover hmm. them under your precious blood. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, we Lord. We declare, declare that no sad news will come their way this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And for the rest of this month. Amen. Amen. Ah. Uh, so and cover them under woo. your precious blood. Thank you, we Lord. We decree that it hmm. is well with them and their family. Yes, in Lord. In the name of Jesus. We Amen. thank you, God, for this radio station. Amen. Hmm. Continue to lift them, God. Yes. Yes, Continue Lord. to take them higher. Yes, Lord. Cover them under your precious yes, blood. Lord. May your word come forth from here as yes, never Lord. before yes, in the Lord. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank in you, Jesus Lord. Name. Amen. amen and amen. God bless Hallelujah. you all.